In this video, I want to cover a few different topics that have been on my mind, and I wanted to put them in other videos. But the chance hasn't really come up, and I kept forgetting. And so I thought, you know what? Why not just make a quick chatty video while I'm on the way home from town? The first thing I've been wanting to tell you guys is thanks so much for your incredible support and all of you that were sending letters and gifts. I'm just totally blown away. I never expected this when I started the channel. And I sincerely apologize to those of you that have written me hand letters and so on and I haven't been able to respond. I really hate that. I, I just feel like I'm not being appreciative. I really am and I really appreciate the encouragement. Some of you have left phone numbers. Um, ways to reach out and contact back and while I would really love to do that it's just amazing how little time I have different people have requested possibly just being pen pals writing back and forth whether it be email or letters I personally I'm really sorry I just do not have the time because I get quite a few of these and if I were to uh, write back to everybody personally um, it would just take up too much of my time and I hope that doesn't sound uh, like I'm, yeah, I feel like that sounds mean, like I'm not prioritizing correctly. I'm sorry, I just do not have the kind of time to be continually uh, writing and emailing on a consistent level while I really want to build friendships and I hope there's a way we can do that. To actually commit to a consistent writing schedule or uh, emailing back and forth, um, that comes a little hard. It's hard for me to keep up with my emails already the way it is. Um, let alone just hand letters. So I really apologize. I, I promise I'm super appreciative of your kindness and taking the time to personally write me a letter. It really means a lot. And just because I didn't have a chance to write back doesn't mean that I didn't appreciate it. So I just want to say thanks to all of you that wrote me letters or sent some gifts. It, it's, it means a lot. And I once again, I'm so sorry I can't um, keep up with all of you. I Yeah, it's just not possible so so thanks a lot again I really 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 appreciate it the second thing I want to talk about there is a lady that is uh, subscribed to my channel and she has a channel of her own her uh, channel's name is LaBella College I believe I'll have links to it below um, and I was following her and she had said she wanted some portraits to paint and I had sent her a picture of Xander and she painted him and I just thought it was super interesting to watch the process and then I paid for the shipping here. I know she wanted to see videos of Xander seeing the, um, the canvas for the first time. And it has been sitting in my house for a couple weeks now. And I just haven't gotten around to opening it because I wanted to wait until I was ready to put it in a video. And it just wasn't happening. I'm like, I really want to do this. I really want to see this painting in real life. So I'm going to do that today. Open up this painting, show it to you guys. She did a really good job. And uh, make sure to check out her channel below. and. As soon as we get home, we're going to open it and I'll show it to you guys. Now the last thing that I was thinking about maybe telling you guys, and I wasn't quite sure if I wanted to, but I decided, you know what, I'll swallow my pride a little bit here. Um, it's real life, it's my life, uh, things I'm dealing with right now. I would just really appreciate your prayers if you don't mind. I truly believe in prayer and I don't pray enough, I need to become more of a prayer warrior. But I am really struggling with my health again. It's completely my fault. Um, I was eating a lot of junk food for probably a month or so. My mentality was that I had pulled out of my flare now that I was consistently taking my meds. Um, the previous time I went into a flare, I had stopped taking my meds, so I thought maybe my meds would keep me away from another flare. But such wasn't the case. I was eating a bunch of junk food. I wasn't being careful at all with what I was eating. And then I had a day where my stress levels were really, really high, uh, both mentally and probably physically as well. Before that day, there was something inside of me that was telling me, you know what, you should not go through with this day. And I just stubbornly plowed ahead and did it anyway. And now I'm paying for that. Um, that very day it just hit me out of the blue it's been about two weeks or so ago and then of course we had Memorial Day weekend I wasn't as careful as I should have been definitely not I was trying to be careful this week I wasn't always eating exactly what I should have and then suddenly today it just hit me out of the blue not as bad as it could be but it's not good either it's definitely signs that I'm headed downhill it's really discouraging 
I am not asking for your pity at all. And if you know me personally, I would really prefer if you don't ask me how I'm doing if you meet me. I just prefer not talking about it. I'd rather just be talked to like, like I'm just living a normal life. It's just been a real battle the last going on two years now. When I was first diagnosed with this, me, I forget, four months or so to get out of my first flare. And I was probably out of my flare for about five months. And then the second one hit and I battled with that again from July to January of this year. And then I was doing well from January until now. This is almost June. And so I have yet to know what it's like to be out of a flare for more than about five months. Xander's getting older, we would love to have more children, but with how severe my case is, they don't recommend I get pregnant until it's fully under control. I just wasn't expecting this. I was not expecting this to happen and it is my fault, but I'm gonna try the next couple weeks to be super careful and see if we can pull out of it before things take a turn for the worse. Yeah, if you think about it, to whisper a little prayer that would mean a lot. I'm not asking for a lot of comments below about it. I just prefer actually not really talking about it a whole lot. Yeah, I just thought I'd throw it in here, not for your pity, uh, not for comments down below. Just, yeah, just letting you all know a little bit what's going on in our life and that it's not always the easiest thing even though some of the videos make it seem that way possibly. <laughs> anyway, I have a wedding that's coming up here my sister-in-law is getting married the end of June out in Oregon and I do not want to miss this wedding for the world so I'm just putting it out there if you guys don't mind saying a little prayer I'd appreciate it anyway we're headed home here and I bought Xander um, a little child's baseball bat and ball we had bought him a real cheap one earlier and the balls all beat up so I bought him a foam one that won't get beat up so we'll see how he likes it he was really playing with his other one <laughs> And speaking of my health, I was thinking, it just reminded me how our bodies are not made to live forever. <laughs> uh, and I think sometimes it's a way of God just saying, you know what, giving you a little reminder that we are frail and weak and, you know, we're not guaranteed a long life. And I know, like, my condition is not life-threatening at all. But it just makes you realize that <laughs> when you take your health so much for granted, and then you suddenly don't have it anymore. It just makes you realize how frail your body actually is and that you're not going to have it forever. So I can get so busy and so caught up with things that I just don't take time for what's most important. So I think God has like a direct messaging system with my insides. So when my heart's maybe not quite where it should be, God's like, you know what, I think she's getting too caught up in life and forgetting what really matters and then my large intestine is like no worries I'm on it I got it <laughs> that's what it feels like and now I want to show you guys our package we're finally ready to open up this package I've been excited to see this it's been sitting here waiting to be opened shall we see who it is She hand painted this. It was very interesting. I'll have links below. You can actually go watch the video of her painting this very picture. She does other paintings as well. So if you guys want a painting done, you can just email her a picture and she will paint for you. So definitely check it out. Links below, like I said. Is that pretty neat, Papa? It's helmet. That's your helmet, yeah. Helmet. We're gonna frame this. We're gonna hang it in a frame. Should we hang it on the wall? Been walking the same old road for miles and miles. If you've been hearing the same old voice, tell the same old lies. If you're trying to feel the same old holes inside, there's a better life. There's a better life. If you got pain, he's 
a pain taker Again? If you feel lost, he's a way maker If you need freedom, a saving He's a prison shaking savior If you got chains, he's a chain breaker All search for the light of day in the dead of night We all found ourselves worn out from the same old fight We all run the things we know just ain't right There's a better life There's a better life If you got pain, he's a pain taker can feel it, somebody testify, if you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify, if you believe it, if you receive it, if you can feel it, somebody testify. I just wanted to make a video with just random things thanking you guys for how incredible you've been. Anyway, have a good day, guys. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Is that pretty me? Okay, can you tell everyone? Bye. Bye. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, bye. <laughs>